What's happening guys? It's your boy the Chevy Nerd coming right back at you. Today another video and this time on the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EUV. Now I know you're going to give me a hard time. Okay, I said we were going to talk about the Trailblazer, but in today's market things are just not lasting in my lot enough to even freaking make a video, which is crazy. But we just happened to get a really really lucky find today. The Bolt EUV, I haven't had one to be able to make a video for you guys and it's been quite some time since we've had one so we want to check this one out uh, we're able to play with it get inside play with all the bells and whistles we'll talk a lot more about it this actually just sold this morning so if you were waiting for one too bad you snooze you lose baby but what we are doing is we're taking plenty of orders on these guys here, but be aware, orders do max out. I know a lot of people are trying to get their hands on this. Since January 1st, this is our first Bolt EUV that we've had in our lot. And as I'm checking the time today, it is April 12th. So it's been a minute. So let's talk about this Bolt EUV and why everybody's going crazy about it today on the Chevy Nerd. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, the Chevy Nerd. We're going to be looking at this 2023 Bolt EUV. This thing is hard to get, like extremely hard to get. Like I mentioned before on the opening cut, since January 1st, we haven't had one of these bad boys. So let's finally take a look at one. Um, and from the redesign, I mean, this is the second car full electric car that General Motors comes out with. Uh, the previous one, which was Bolt EV, has a lot of similarities to this, but what they've changed is they made it a little bit wider, a little bit longer, just to change the styling into going into that compact SUV. So this definitely fits that criteria of that compact SUV. And it's stylish looking. It really looks sharp. Um, I have to say, manager did a pretty good job with this particular order. It's just a nice, classy look. Now, I like the design on this particular one because it really uh, brings out that white color with that black, so that contrast on there, just a little hint of chrome, not too crazy on there. And then we also see that, that nice combination into the chrome and black wheels. It really makes it pop. Uh, now, obviously, to complement that with the black Chevy bow tie, pretty sick, I have to say. Now, this new design definitely makes the, the Bolt EV look substantially sportier and fun to drive. Now, we're gonna take a look at the, towards the front. We obviously, right over into this side, we see that nice uh, running light at the, on there. And then at the bottom, we're gonna see that main headlight there, accompanied with a couple of hints of chrome there to just kind of make it pop. And then we get that nice serious grill up front. It's kind of neat. It's different because it's completely different from grills from gas motored engines since we don't have to have a lot of that airflow going into there. So it gives it a different style and it, and it definitely says, hey, this dude's driving an EV for sure. Now, when we're taking a look out through the rest. One of the cool things that I like about some of the stuff that Chevy does is it really adds a lot of detail into certain things. So minimal things like this, I think kind of really pop, but it tells you kind of everywhere you see it, Bolt EUV, and it has that nice classy look to it. Uh, we actually see that symbol towards the back as well. Let's go take a look at that one there. And then over here, we see it in that color combination of the chrome and also that nice blue. Really makes it stand out. Now, what about this Bolt, okay? So on this guy here, one of the cool things about this unit here is we're able to compactly pack a punch. What did he say? Hey. In power of 247 miles in range. Is it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Unfortunately, no, it requires something with a little more kick. Oh, this sucker's electrical. Now, when it comes to that, this is a perfect, perfect commuter uh, in town not having to charge it every single night and, and being able to drive comfortably without any panic. And one of the cool things about this, it has regenerative braking and also one pedal driving, which can also extend a substantial amount of power, right? The action to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. Back into that battery to allow you to accomplish everyday tasks without having to worry about charging your unit. So this one is also uh, packing a total of 200 horsepower and 
due to the fact that it has no transmission whatsoever, you have essentially 100% of the powers powered up to your front wheels. You have an excessive amount of torque. Now, with this one being a small SUV, uh, the zero to 60, if I recall correctly, is gonna be 6.8 seconds, which is fast enough for what you're doing as a daily driver, trust me. Now, if you're looking for something sportier, then hopefully General Motors is gonna come up. Wait, what do I mean hopefully? It is coming out with the Corvette E-Ray, so you want wanna check that out later down the road. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the vehicle as well as we go quickly inside. We are greeted to ooh, the blue interior. This one's a new one. So I like that contrast when it comes to that black, a little bit of that um, kind of like a chrome look to it almost. And then that blue finish right on there with the white stitching uh, really pops. Uh, this one's one of our premier lines. Uh, the premier lines have a really nice pattern onto their seats as well and they have that white or sorry on this one blue light blue stitching onto the seats on there too so um also first 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 super cruise that we're able to actually play with here at the store because everything else has been pre-sold before we got here so uh first super cruise that we've had and been able to show but um it's also another really fun treat now going into the interior of the vehicle let's take a look here uh, we're going to get greeted to our our console area here okay so one of the cool things is if you see it because there's no longer a shifter column here there's a substantial amount of space underneath the seat so if there's any laptops or any gadgets or anything that you want to put down there there's quite a bit of room there so it really opens things up a little bit and then you have your shifter here uh, remember with general motors anything that moves and propels the vehicle forward it's a pull action so a drive reverse park neutral and then one pedal driving is a push button so a really cool setup here uh, just looking at some of the gadgets and gizmos that are available right here uh, we're going to take a look at your sports mode sports mode kind of uh, unleashes more of that power for you uh, you know to have a little bit of fun while you're driving and then you also have your traction control and then your lane keep assist which is part of the chevy assist package and rightly so tucked right on in there the little sleeping pad for our cell phones and that's where they can sleep and re-energize all their stuff so let's go ahead and close this door ooh, and then ooh, what was that what was that oh yeah now this is a little greeting that you get with your chevy bolt if you guys heard that it's that nice sound of uh kind of like that futuristic feel you just came into a spaceship is what it's kind of giving you a feel like so except for that part i guess but uh, really cool setup uh, on the digital display panel. I like kind of how it almost blends into the dash when it was off, you couldn't even see it. So the glass panel is right over here too. So it kind of flushes right through, makes it nice and clean. Uh, let's go ahead and click okay there and continue. Uh, but you're gonna get greeted to our infotainment system, the MindLink 3.0, uh, which is substantially easier than the previous versions that were introduced in the first Bolt EUVs, or I apologize, not first Bolt EUVs, the first Bolt EVs, uh, which made it more complicated than it needed to be. This goes back to the simplicity factor of it, which is great. Uh, you're uh, greeted with wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, as well as equipped with navigation with this particular model too. Uh, looking into your steering wheel here, you also have a lot of great creature comforts, uh, such as the safety components for Ford Collision Assists and the newest, newest one. Take a look at it, Super Cruise. Uh, this one's super cool. It's gonna go ahead and start working with this little bar up here. Um, different light colors are gonna come up to let you know uh, when it's active, when it's safe, when it's not safe, that kind of stuff. And now the other way to make sure that you're using this responsibly is this little guy here. That little camera actually reads your eyes, which is really cool. Uh, basically, it makes sure that you're staying focused. Now, on a light conversation where you're looking kind of back and forth uh, with, your, with the uh, person that you're talking to as you're driving, it's going to notice those those little uh, subtle movements but it's going to keep you on track and then obviously it's going to time you on the amount of time that you're spending going this side to this side and then making sure you're safe as soon as it detects that it feels like it's unsafe and you're not paying attention it's going to go ahead and give you that red light up here a little uh, auditory beep letting you know it's going to disengage if you do not look at 
the front, which you should be looking at anyways. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, uh, the rest and what makes the Bolt EV special. But before we get that, let's go ahead and get this all fully turned down. So this is that power button here. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the start button. Um, it's already on there. And then we're going to go ahead and get this climate control going because I am roasting. It's finally a nice day outside. So we're going to go ahead and turn those on. And we're going to hit automatic and you can hear that it's going to start up right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice cool air. All right. So this one right here, this is going to be your uh, digital cluster right up front. Uh, this is going to show you all that you need to know about how much uh, kilowatts you're using as you're driving. So us sitting here just using the power that we have here, we're just uh, draining two kilowatts consistently. And then to the left hand side, we're going to see the max range that's on there, 290. Now, keep in mind, this is very similar to fuel range. What am I talking about here? Everybody's fuel range can go up way above and beyond what is advertised on the vehicle uh, because it always depends on how you are driving. So depending on how you drive is kind of how uh, your, your vehicle is going to get a gauge for the things that you do. So right now, since this vehicle has been idling and that kind of stuff, it's really not using a lot of that. So of course the max range is 290 when I told you it's 247. So depending on your style of driving, I've heard customers get up to 310 miles on their Bolt EVs. So that is definitely a potential. And in combination with regenerative braking, which is here, and also the all popular one pedal driving, that can make a big difference in your driving experience. So um, that is a really cool little setup there. Now, obviously very similar to before, you can use this guy here to control a lot of your features right into that digital display panel to show you everything that you need to know about your tire pressures, um, you know, when the next service needs to be done, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of information in this area. Once you click on the left icon, you can have your information panel, all of your other components for media and different settings that you can go ahead and customize so you can see exactly what you need to see right on that screen. So I would definitely play around with those once you take ownership of them, they're super fun. Okay. Now, uh, when it comes to the rest of the vehicle, what is this bad boy equipped with? Uh, on the Premier, we're going to have ventilated seats and then heated seats. So we're going to have those as uh, on here too. And then towards the right-hand side, very funny that they changed that. That sucker used to be right here, but they made room for Super Cruise. Now your heated steering wheel is going to be right over here. So pay attention to that. Um, you'll also have dual zone climate control to go ahead and control uh, your climates here on there as well. So actually, correction, single zone. So it looks like on this particular model, there is no dual zone climate control. So there actually may not be any for the Bolt EUV. So that's a good thing to notice on there too. Now, on this particular model, uh, we're, since it's the Premier line, which is the most luxurious one, we do have all our surrounding cameras, which is a huge help. So right now we're taking a look at the front of the dealership and then we can click onto this icon here to look at the rear. Okay. We can see our curb wheels there so we don't curb our car. And then we can either eliminate the top view if we wanted to. So if we can have bigger screen, so we can also have that nice big screen or if you want the top down view, which is usually really, really helpful. So really cool setup on the camera views on this particular model now another really cool thing and it's one of my favorites is that bad boy so do you see how you see me there right now i'm holding this camera this iphone recording but if you know kind of like a dude like me big head gets in the way you can't see in the back because there's people sitting back there with huge heads like mine what are you going to do well or maybe if your luggage is sky high you're just going to go ahead and click on this guy here and then it's going to turn into a camera and you'll be able to see everything that you were able to see. But now you're going to be seeing it in HD, baby. So as you're driving, it's kind of a cool experience. I'll kind of move it into drive real quick and look at that. Gosh, that is so neat. Really cool features. Uh, what I like about this one too is that it's customizable. So you can switch up your brightness onto the screen. You can switch up the zoom. So if you wanna see, uh, let's say that you're going up to Denver and you have three rows of vehicles there, boom. You can see them all clearly. Um, if you wanna zoom in a little bit more and be like, what is that creeper doing? Boom, there you go. You can zoom right into it as well. Uh, one of my other favorite ones is that you'll be able to tilt and adjust that mirror 
at any uh, kind of angle that works best for you. So a really, really nice touch onto that. And this particular one, I can't aim at it very well. This bad boy has got that nice big sunroof. So let's go ahead and push that here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that open. Boom. Gosh. And it extends all the way up in the back. Beautiful. And then just one press here. And then, oh, one, two, there we go. Two press. And then it shuts it all the way up really really cool I think they did a really good job with the new Bolt UVs uh, the driving the experience is really fun uh, we're paired up with Bose audio system just to kind of kick up the notch on entertainment inside the vehicle and um, yeah guys I mean that really kind of covers all of this bad boy uh, when it comes to the technical aspects of this we can definitely talk about it a little bit more um, and yeah let's uh, I guess let's kind of hit on that point all right, guys. So a couple of cool things on uh, on Bolt EUV is we're able to go ahead and charge this for uh, our 120 volt and also our 240. So for a lot of consumers that are wanting to get into the EV world, the 120 is usually the slowest way to charge. You're probably going to be getting, if I recall correctly, right around four to five miles each hour that you have it plugged in. Uh, typically that I would reserve that for a lot of consumers that are just doing light driving in town okay uh, so as soon as you kind of wrap up the day at work you know you go home plug it in you're gonna have a couple of, uh, of hours obviously overnight and just during the evening all that kind of stuff to charge up that typically kind of takes care of that trip that you're gonna do in the next day whether it be going to work uh, whether it be you know going out to your lunch whatever you're doing um, depending on kind of how busy you are now if you're a consumer that is going to be using the Bolt EUV to do maybe more of a longer commute uh, let's say that you're doing about 30 miles you know uh, one way 30 miles back uh, and then other errands while you're going through the throughout your day then one of the things that I would suggest is setting up your 240 connection at home now one of the cool things is uh, depending on specific units that we have General Motors is providing some help when it comes to installation so one of the cool things you can do is sign up for the QMerit program which is going to help you guys cover up to a thousand dollars in installation for your level two chargers which is the best way at that point typically about a six to seven hour charge is going to charge you a hundred percent all the way up to the top which typically is not recommended actually so keep that in mind um, but every once in a while you want to charge it to 100 percent but typically a safe spot is to keep it at 80 percent 80 percent is one of those kind of uh, safe zones to keep the longevity onto that battery as much as possible now i wouldn't get spooked because of that because the other great thing about general motors is that they are providing a powertrain warranty and a battery warranty which is essentially the powertrain for this guy um, that is going to be for eight years, 100,000 miles. So that is an awesome, awesome opportunity for anybody looking into getting into an EV. So you all, you have the support of GM, you have the support here at our store to be able to help you out with certain things like that. But, uh, those are some of the technical aspects of it. One of the things that I definitely want to say, it's a car to experience you want to come into the dealership we want to take a look at it and i know in today's market it is a very very difficult thing to do uh, but if there is one near you drive one test it um, if you have a friend or family member drive one test it um, check out videos like this one so it can kind of help you uh, kind of get a feel for it now obviously you're not going to be able to get the exact feel of it because you're not here driving it but um one pedal driving is a fantastic way to drive around in town uh, it takes care of a lot of that regenerative braking and all that means is that we're using kinetic energy to bring that battery power back uh, a couple things that that does it saves your brakes and uh, it also you know reduces that wear and tear which is a great thing so but um, hopefully you guys like this video uh, it's kind of a quick touch on the chevrolet bolt um, uh, the, I definitely want to make a little bit more videos about the EV technology. Um, we'll probably be doing them uh, with uh, not necessarily the car themselves because they're hard to get. Um, this one already sold. Uh, it sold this morning, uh, but I had the opportunity to make a video before. Obviously, we're, we were able to send this away so uh, to its new owner. But uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach me, contact me via email. I'll go ahead and kind of link everything down. Yeah, if you made it this far, do me a solid, solid favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, helps out a lot. And uh, 
we will be catching you on the flip side. We'll stay tuned for another episode of The Chevy Nerd coming next week. Stay tuned.